All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Brandon Moreno. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay, it sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses, and two draws. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Brandon, the assassin baby, Moreno! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made for you. This fight is made for you. But does the grappler try to keep this fight standing? Does he just throw the jiu-jitsu fighter down and then back out? Because even though he's a phenomenal grappler, he will be at a disadvantage if this fight takes too much time on the ground in the jiu-jitsu realm. And they separate. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, big left hand there. 
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Real quick leg kick. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big leg kick lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. And follows up with another one. Just missed with the left there. Right hand punches the clinch. Leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Able to check that kick as well. Moreno's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Straight right hand now just misses. Big kick land. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Great punch. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this round. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. And they separate. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice one, two there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, straight right. He got him. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Uh, you are battering that nose. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a bunch of places. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, good 
job defensively to block the strike there by Brandon Moreno. Just misses there with the left. Moreno's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Unable to connect there. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit. Now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. He's having his way with him here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook, and I'm just not sure how many more his opponent can take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it's starting to truly wear on him. Defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the posture. And they separate. Big kick land. 89 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And if you care about the efficiency, connecting with a 37% accuracy rate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Real sneaky body kick. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around, trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. He finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Nurmagomedov gets back up again. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, that's a good strike there by Moreno. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with a left hook there. Moreno gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocked, and he's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light them up. You gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Ten minutes in the books.
right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round right, starts. Right. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And he caught the kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Not there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, hook to the head by Brandon Moreno. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice punch there by Nermago Meadow. Left hook counter. All right, single collar tie now. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. It's right hand on point. And they separate. Big kick lands. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this. Oh! Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Oh, nice punch there by Brandon Moreno. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Throws the left hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. Slams to the body there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Straight punch lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. 
Oh, slips to avoid the right. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Final seconds of round three. Moreno gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes, but this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nurmagomedov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh! Oh! Take that finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can... Again, you gotta like that. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a performer hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Hands up, hands up. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Visibly limping here. Just over three minutes to go. Effective punch there by Moreno. Nervado met up. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Brandon Moreno. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands a strike there. Just over two minutes now to go. Lands flush with the left hand. Mago Medov's elbow here is blocked. Nice job defensively there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done. And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.
Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.